Tuesday, May 11th, 2021. You know I'm technical. So I'm going to do a start video today, but I'm going to upload, upload this tomorrow for Wednesday. And I always make my homemade pinto beans, you know, to try. Remember that big ass bag I got? This is eight pounds. And I always cook it on high, so it's right away. But since I'm going to let it go early, it's uh, 4.58 p.m. So I'm going to let it go slow, you know, low heat. So anyways, this is exactly one cup because I put this into my measuring cup and it equal one cup. Or it's eight ounces. Well, anyways. And of course, you have to clean up the beans first. You want to find rocks, break a shoe, or, or what else is in there? Rotten beans, you know, nasty beans. Cut this a little more. I always do the same amount every time. I don't fill this all the way to the top. I always do it here. When I, once I have everything in there and I see how it looks, then I will add a little bit more water or not before putting that in the base and you know fudging it in. So anyways, you know, I wish I had a counter on each side of this damn stove. Probably these I'm grateful I have a home. You know I wish everybody could have a home instead of people being homeless. But um uh, Anyways, so here I'll just put this right there. I don't think I still opened it enough. So I'm gonna do three full cups. One. Three. What I do is I split half and leave them like a soup, a little bit like a soup, and the other I mix into my refried beans. I'm gonna do half more. Always good to have more than not enough, right? So, okay. BRB while I'm doing the rinsing, looking for rocks and what have you. Okay, BRB. Okay, well. Of all them beans, this is all. And I don't like to have, I know they're beans, so what I do with these is I don't throw them away, I save them. So when I do my baking, which I don't do on camera, uh, I uh, blind baking the pie shells and whatever. So I save those, so no, I don't throw these away, I make use of them. Okay, so the clean beans obviously go in there. It's starting to get heavy for me already. So that's them in there. There's the base right here. Now, how I flavor these is like I said in the other video, garlic powder and fresh garlic. Onion. Don't want to waste this poor little thing. I was gonna make stuffed bell peppers, but I forgot about it, so I'm not gonna put the whole thing. I'm gonna put a small portion in there just for that flavor. I don't ever put salt until the beans are done. Just my way of cooking. I always put. I don't have bacon, you know, that I would fry myself or in the oven. I always get these as backup too. And I don't put too much either. I put enough, but not overly enough. I mean, under. And I go by visual. So I don't have a recipe. So if you follow recipes, I'm sorry. I can't tell you. Just hope you can see from what I'm doing. Bay leaf. And since I'm the only one of my siblings that makes this kind of stuff. Uh, this is also going to be my legacy and their teaching tool. So I get one 
and I'll get two because it's a lot of beans and a big one and then I just of course fish them out never try eating that because you could cut up your mouth and throw it real bad I don't know from personal experience I'm not dumb but I'm not saying you guys are dumb black pepper I'm just saying you know common sense it's very sharp you know so you Growing up, such tell small children don't eat those if they find one, and of course oregano. And that's that's my preference of oh, little pepper, man. Why didn't I need to cover my face when I did it? BRB. Okay, so all I did was to cut time, cut the ends off the onion, cut the top off, but I'm gonna use a cap of it, you know. Good. And I leave the seeds in there because to me that's flavor. And I love mm, the scent of, but I'm going to cut it up into three parts. Because it's just going to dissolve in there and it'll leave the flavor behind at least. And the onion, I cut it right down the middle. I'm not going to use the whole thing. Oh, I don't add onion powder to this. For this recipe, that's one thing I won't add is onion powder to my beans. That's why I like to put this amount, amount first, and if I feel it needs a little bit more, because it is a lot of beans, I usually make a pound to two pounds for Bubba and I. So, you know, just gonna cut it down the back and then go that way. So you get, you know, so you got size wedges, and then I'm going to cut it the opposite, just one line through it. So I'm doing this all the feet. And I've been eating those pickled onions. I haven't forgotten. I just want to make something that will interest you to, if you make them, what you might want to try if you don't know what you can eat them with. And then just separate them. I'll say that for a homemade burger. Then the garlic. And again, you go by your taste. If you like real strong garlic taste, which I do, I'll just go big. I'll try to show it. To be heavier with the water, of course. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more water than what I got there. So that's it there. I know this is silly because I'm gonna swim in the water. I just get a little premix. Okay, the belt. The bay leaves snapped in half, the bigger ones, so I'm going to fish up two and a half pieces now instead of just two. So, again, at the water. I won't be able to lift it, so I'm going to go. It's to about, right? Well, not that you can see. Say this is the crock pot. The, it has that much from the top, so the water's about here, so I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay, so I'm going to go with that amount, okay? But you add to however you want to cook it. I think I'm going to end up cooking it on a high better, because I kind of don't like leaving it overnight. Okay, I'll give it one more little mix up. Put the lid on it. Be careful with the plug, you don't want to get it wet. I'm gonna go take it over there and put it on the a set, you know, plug it in. BRB. Sorry, I, I guess I could have taken the phone and the, the tripod in. Anyways, part two of the finished product, you know, the bean soup and refried beans. I'll remake them here again. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. So 
I have to comment, reply to a couple of new subscribers I just got. Thank you again, M&M &M Howls and more, Melissa Michelle, for the shout out and having people come by on my channel. If they don't want to subscribe, that's fine. But at least a thumbs up, please. Okay. Thanks, Populays and bros. Okay. Until tomorrow, which is Wednesday. Okay. See you then. Bye. Peace.